All right. Uh, we now have a segment of the program we call Show Me That Tarantula, because apparently <laughs> right. I got a million wow. tarantula hey. pictures today. So Robert Molina is the winner of the one example. Where of, is that, Mark? Did he that say? is, yeah, he took it all on uh, Route 66. Wow. Up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I, I didn't I had, know they were here. Yeah, me neither. And you know, I don't want to know either at this point, but now we do. So <laughs> impressive stuff. And if you want to send your pictures in, we got the tarantula thing down, but anything else would be great. Pics at krqe.com. Here's a look at what's going on in the metro area right now. Things relatively quiet, but if you look off to the north, we have some storms north of Rio Rancho kind of hanging out around the Santa Ana Pueblo and up around Jemez Springs at this point. The Jemez really has been dealing with some pretty good thunderstorms here throughout the afternoon hours. That continues right now up into the southern San Juans as well and up into the San Juans of Colorado. Over across northeastern New Mexico, we have a line of storms pushing through Santa Rosa heading toward Tucumcari and Logan right now. Heavy rain with this, some small to medium-sized hail as well with some of these. And across the south, some spot storms across the Sacramento's. Looking at the temperatures at this point, for the most part, 70s and 80s to the north, down to the south, anywhere from the 70s in Rudoso, all the way up to the 90s across most of southern New Mexico. High pressure staying anchored over us for now. It is allowing some moisture in. But a variety of different things are headed our way as we push toward the holiday weekend here. You can see the clouds coming up from the south. That is the very edge of Jimena, and it is going to be a little bit of a factor for us. But it's going to have to combine with some other things to be a bigger deal. But here's what's going on. Jimena's to the south here. High pressure is going to kind of scoot to the east, going to keep it well to our south through about Friday. Then over the weekend, we may drag in a little bit of moisture from what will now be a low pressure system off to our south and west. So this will provide a little bit of moisture our way. That combined with a cold front and a couple weather disturbances will keep showers going across New Mexico over the weekend and into the beginning of next week. So it is going to take three different things to really keep things going here, but we are going to at least see that that chance at showers and you can see it as we push in here we are going to keep that wall going essentially and it's not going to allow huge amounts of moisture over the wall so what we're essentially we're going to get with the high blocking things out here is a little bit of moisture here you combine that with a cold front you combine that with low pressure kicking overhead all those things are going to help to give us a wetter pattern over the weekend what that really means for us is not a complete washout but just scattered storms a pretty good bet each afternoon really starting tomorrow and lasting through Monday 89 in Farmington, 77 Chama for tomorrow across the north and east. Temperatures for the most part anywhere from the 70s all the way up into the high 80s. Back toward the south and west spot storms, especially over the Gila and over to the southeast. Scattered storms possible by tomorrow afternoon. 92 Roswell, 76 Rudoso and 88 in Carrizozo. Meanwhile, East Mountains, low 80s for tomorrow. Scattered storms and maybe some gusty east winds at times. Here in the Albuquerque area, we'll keep our temperatures a little cooler. Plenty of afternoon clouds and a few scattered storms, a possibility for us as well. Same deal in Santa Fe. Chance of storms each afternoon through about Monday. And in Albuquerque, we're looking at the same deal. One thing you'll probably notice, though, temperatures coming down. More cloud cover, more moisture. We're just not going to warm up as much. But again, I think you'll be okay getting out there each day of the holiday weekend. But you're going to have to watch a few storms. All right. Thank you, Mark.